Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog and me in my Peppa Pig pyjamas. Actually they're not Peppa Pig, they are Percy Pig. My mum got me these from Marks and Spencers. I think it was not last Christmas but the Christmas before. By the way, if you can see the mess of this hotel room, please ignore it. It is embarrassingly messy, I cannot lie. I am currently on holiday, if you didn't already know, and you don't follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, because then you'd be more up to date with my life. But I am currently on holiday with my best friend, Abby. The reason most of you already know Abby is because last year I vlogged when her and I went to Greece together. We went to Cos. We're in Greece again now, but we're actually in Rhodes. But over the years, Abby and I have been to so many different destinations together. We've been to Bali, we've been to New York, Bahamas, LA, Miami, um, Ibiza, but Barcelona, Paris, you know what, there's more, but I can't even think of them. We've travelled half the world together, and she's like my little travel partner and also my best friend. And funny enough, we actually met in the gym, I think I might have told this story before, we met in the gym, like donkeys years ago, let me tell you, and um, yeah, we laugh now because we're like, we, well, I don't want to say we never go to the gym, we do, but compared to how we were then, we are very out of shape, and we just laugh that like, is that such a crazy place that we met, and now all we do is eat together, like, you know, we travel, we eat, and we just have a good time. Anyway, she's actually currently at breakfast. We've already been here, today's Friday. We got here on Monday. And I actually wasn't gonna vlog this trip because I just really feel like I kinda needed a break, like just from my camera and everything. But then it's got to the end of the week and I'm like, well, we've got two days left here. Shall I just pick up my vlog camera, kind of show you around and just show you what I'm doing like these next few days? Anyway, I'm just putting a bit of sun cream. I mean, I look tragic this morning. Um, I'm going to put in a little outfit, I'm going to go meet Abby at breakfast. This set I'm wearing right now is so creased, but I can't bother to see me, even though I did actually bring my steamer with me. This thing comes everywhere with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, this will just have to do. This set is from Arquette. I have two of them. I also have it in this beige colour as well. I bought these when I went to Positano, and I have worn them so many times. I wore them in Dubai, I wore them at home. They're so handy. Little linen shirt, short sleeve, which I like, and then matching shorts. But this will do, I'm just going to put some sunglasses on and I'm literally going for breakfast like this. I mean, I can't bother to make any effort. It is what it is. Look at this view as I head outside. This is our pool area. God, it's a little bit windy today. What's going on? It's super windy. It hasn't been windy at all, but it's actually kind of nice to have a breeze because it's been so hot since we've been here, guys, like 36 degrees. Um, but there's our room just over there. So there's like different blocks of rooms and each block has its own pool. So when we arrived, they told us that there's 16 pools in this hotel, which is crazy. And the hotel we're staying in, sorry, I don't even know if you can see me, it's so bright. The hotel we're staying in is called Alyssa Lifestyle. Um, it's beautiful, honestly, so, so nice. It's really new. And then this is the main pool area. I don't think you're gonna be able to see very well because the sun is beating down in front of me. And here is the breakfast area. Um, and over here is an Asian restaurant. I'm gonna take you in here. So you can also come here for an evening buffet as well, which we did one night. Can't say we loved it. <laughs> I just tripped over so embarrassingly. Honestly, guys, everyone was staring at me. Someone even laughed. <laughs> right, I can see Abby outside, but I'm gonna get my usual. It's actually really busy here this morning. We're a little bit later than we have been. This is salads and fish, feta. I've eaten so much feta this trip. Onions, cucumber, and more salad. Then there's cheese and hams. We got lots of bread. We got boiled eggs, scrambled egg, all different types of pork. But I every morning have a bowl, and inside the bowl, I put some Greek yogurt, and then I put some of this fruit salad mix. I'm gonna get some of this. I actually prefer the granola, but for the last two days they haven't had it, so today it's gonna have to be muesli again. Then over here are all nuts and things, which I'm gonna add on top of my yogurt and then I'm gonna finish it off with some fresh honey and here is my breakfast so a big bowl of, sort of fruit nut and yogurt I got my watermelon and pan of chocolate you know had to pick up that so good and it's warm as well and then Abby got me a pot of mint tea because I have this every morning and she's so thoughtful she's just gone back up to go and get herself another plate of like food I think she's gone to go get one of these hello everyone we are back from breakfast I have got ready, I can't lie, it is like 2pm. I have been working all morning and then sat to have a little sunbathe, got in the pool. Abby has also been working and yeah, we've just been enjoying the sunshine. And we are going to go and get some late lunch. We're actually going to eat at a restaurant in the hotel, which we've ate at three times this trip. <laughs> but the food is so good. They do these amazing feta potatoes. 10 out of 10, like stunning. Have a Michigan star as well. 
Really? Has a Michelin star, Abby just said, apparently. This restaurant here is the restaurant that I said does amazing food. So yeah, look how close it is to the hotel. Hotel's there, restaurant is here. And look how beautiful the view is from here. Wow. Abby, do you want to appear on the vlog now? I look very rough. <laughs> no, you don't. you got your hat on. got my wet swimming hair. We love Abby's hat, by the way. Tell everyone where it's from. <laughs> I went to Primark to do my usual sock run. Hey, too much. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. And um, some steel water, please. Thank you so much. Sorry, Abby, back to the <laughs> telling everyone where your hat's from. So, Primark. I went in there <laughs> to get some little holiday bits, not expecting much, and I saw this. And it was. I put it on. I was like, actually, that looks kind of like. It nice. looks like that lack of colours. Yeah. Or how you and say it was that brand. meant to be £7 and it's reduced to four. Yeah, <laughs> was four like, pounds. I yeah. wish I could get one. And also she's got, got this from Highmark. Love that. I just I ended up spending 70 quid in there. <laughs> I literally went in. Whole get new wardrobe. Some, well, I've got so many new socks because I think I've got a sock monster in my house. <laughs> but um, yeah, so many new socks and then this and then this. I can't remember what else I got. Oh look at this little guy on his golf cart whizzing along. That's cute. Oh, <laughs> Aw, love that. What waving. a life. What a life. Oh, he waved at him, he's waving back. <laughs> The lighting in here on my head is not so great, but we did that the other day when we went on a boat trip. There were some people like sat, wasn't there? Like on this little, I don't even know where they were sat, like a little jetty. And Abby and I from this big ferry like waved at them. <laughs> and they like waved back and then everyone on the ferry waved as well. It's so funny. I actually took some photos on that boat and we I should put in the video because it looked like I was on a yacht, but I was actually on a ferry with like 60 other people. Yeah, it's kind of like a joke. like. When I tell you these potatoes are like the most addictive things ever. Look at this feta and then the crispiness of the potato. They say they're triple cooked. Look at them, look at them. I wish you guys could taste them through the screen. And then we have a Greek salad as well. Guys, I've eaten a Greek salad for dinner, sorry, for lunch and dinner for the last four days. I'm not actually joking either. If the background looks like a mess, it is because it is. And if the lighting is a little bit off, I'm sorry about that. This room is really quite dark. We have this big panoramic window here, but it's underneath like a little shelter. The pros to it being dark is the fact that it does stay very cool, but it is it's kind of dark, which is half the reason <laughs> I'm always going to try and make excuses, but it's half the reason I haven't vlogged this week because if I'm in like a really bright space, it makes me want to vlog because the lighting's great. We're in here. It's, it's really not been the best. But anyway, the hotel itself has been beautiful. I haven't even told you guys. Have I told you? I don't think I have. I haven't quite explained where we're actually staying. We're staying at a place called Alyssa Lifestyle Resort. I believe it's quite new. I think it's about a year old. Abby found this hotel online and it's honestly been perfect for exactly what I wanted. Like it's very, very chilled. It's really quite modern and clean and it's in a really good location as well. It's about 15, 20 minutes away from Rhodes Old Town, which since being here, we've kind of realized that everything kind of goes on in the Old Town area. I mean, quote me if I'm wrong, but from our experience, that's what we found anyway. But I thought as I was getting ready this evening, we could do a little get ready with me. So I did a little bit of MAC face and body as my base. It's in the shade C3. And then I did a tiny bit of concealer over the top. Now for foundation, I don't want to do a lot of foundation, but we have choices. I can either do MAC Studio Fix, which is like an old school favourite of mine. Or I could do this Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. I actually got this from Look Fantastic just before I came away. I wore it two days in a row, loved it. However, I feel like the shade is a little bit too light. It's perfect when I'm in London, but since I've been here, even though I don't sit in the sun too much, I have got a little bit, tiny bit of a tan, like my freckles have come out. And I feel like this is gonna look too light. But I'd have to say from the two days I used this, it's such a beautiful foundation and lasted all day long. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the two because this is quite lightweight and this is thick. I'm going to mix it so I've got a bit of like a, you know, even coverage, if that even makes any sense. Probably doesn't. I don't even know what I'm doing, but hoping for the best. Anyway, overall, Abby and I, well, I'm speaking for both of us because I think she'll agree, but we have absolutely loved roads. Like, we both said that out of all of the Greek islands we've been to, not that I've been to a lot, I went to Zante when I was like 18, and then last year Abby and I went to Kos, and Abby actually went to Mykonos at the beginning of the summer, but out of all of them we've been to, Rhodes is our favourite one. As much as I've like loved all of the other places, 
I just feel like there's so much to do in Rhodes. And tonight when I take you into the old town, you'll see how beautiful like all the buildings are. And it's very historical, the restaurants, the people, they've all been so friendly and lovely. I just did a little bit of contour and now I'm going to use the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat. This reminds me of my mum. This has been around for years and it is such an amazing product. It's so good for brightening, so I love to put it underneath my eyes and on my forehead as well I like the foundation i also got this on look fantastic i'm sure a lot of you know but i actually work with look fantastic and whenever i do they give me a discount code. there are a few brand exclusions but there are literally thousands of products included and you can save some money off with my code next let's do a little bit of bronzer this is still the best bronzer i think of all time this is nars laguna bronzer this is an old firm favorite and it is just the best next let's do some liquid blush this is from nars also from look fantastic though and this is in the shade orgasm and my favorite blush shade of all time is nars orgasm and this is the liquid version which is so lovely if you're trying to create that more of like a dewy skin finish which i really enjoy in summertime i don't want to look kind of greasy but it's nice to look kind of dewy instead of matte i think anyway i'm just going to pop it there onto the apples of my cheeks and this is so blendable as well can you see it by the way let's ignore all of the makeup on the back of my hand i do this thing when i'm getting ready where i put all of my brushes onto this hand and then it ends up looking terrible so we will just ignore that sorry how nice is that blush then for highlight i'm going to use soft and gentle from mac it looks like this look how like kind of shiny it is it's so beautiful i kid you not i have been using this for so many years it's a highlight that i go back to all of the time like i've never stopped using it but then i buy new highlights and i try those out for a while but i always without fail go back to this next i'm using this for my eyes and it is an eyeshadow stick from laura mercier and this is in the shade rose gold guys if any of you out there feel like you're rubbish at doing eye makeup i am one of you i understand how it feels and this is the perfect product for you because you literally Draw it onto your eyelid how you just saw me. It doesn't even need to be neat. And then you can just kind of buff it out with a brush. And it's as simple as that. And it just kind of gives your eyelid a little bit of colour, a little bit of sheen. But it's not difficult. Like, you don't need to be a makeup artist in order to use it. I actually needed to use Abby's eyelash curlers because I don't know what happened with my lash lift, guys. My lashes just... It kind of lasted for, like, two days. And then they just went straight again. I don't know if it's just because my lashes are naturally straight. I'm unsure. But, yeah. I don't know what happened to that. And there we have it. Guys, I'm never going to make a makeup artist. I mean, never say never. But truthfully, I am not. But it was quick. It was easy. I started off by saying it was going to be a no makeup makeup look. It definitely looks like makeup. But I feel like it looks quite kind of glowy and natural. And I'm very happy with it. Just to say, if you've seen any products I just use that you like, everything will be linked down below. And don't forget that the code FreyaKillingLF will save you some money on Look Fantastic. Off of all the products you've just seen me use, and also lots of other products on the website. Anyway, let's find something to wear. Guys, we are now in the old town. Abby is here. This is, no, this isn't the first time we've been on vlogs. Oh, I showed you about my Primark bag. But I thought that person <laughs> there, I thought those model things there were real people. Lol. And yeah, we just got into the old town. We didn't even do like what we're wearing, but we will do that. Um, but we're actually late for dinner because the taxi situation, I'll explain that a little bit later. But now we just need to get to our table. Look how lovely it is. So this is Rhodes Old Town and it is so beautiful. We've been here every night of our trip. There are so many different restaurants that look like this outside. Yeah, like every corner there's a different restaurant. Look at these little buggies. They don't take people around though, I don't think. I don't know. Oh, it does say public transport. Maybe they'll give us a lift. <laughs> and, um, yeah, look how beautiful all these little restaurants are. <laughs> Abby just burped. <laughs> there was a hiccup. <laughs> oh, this is exactly what I wanted for my mum. <laughs> my nan would like I like my nan would like yeah, one as well. That one. <laughs> Why tell us, right? I've just, this is oh, actually a genuine this question. This one's quite pretty. Why in look every that. sort of holiday destination? <laughs> that one is really beautiful. Why in every Even holiday I? destination do they do these? Like, guys, it's a bit awkward touching it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but why? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Very tropical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how pretty it is down there. And over here, you see these sponges everywhere. Were they actually made on Simi Island? Well, Simi Island is known for its sponge industry. So, okay, and that's where yeah. we actually went on one of the days, yeah. which was so beautiful. It kind of gave Positano with all the houses. I'm kind of annoyed at myself that I didn't vlog that day trip because it was so nice there wasn't Very it picturesque. yeah it really was we yeah we actually said to you earlier didn't we 
didn't I? Because I said that we got a ferry and I took photos as if I was on a yacht. Um, but no, that was, yeah, really, really nice day out. It's just been so hot though. Like how hot was it on that island? Yeah, it was really, really warm. Like, there's and we been had no... like towels with us because we stopped and did a jump in the water. Yeah, and I took extra clothes just in case I wanted to take more outfit. <laughs> like, you know, I always do that. So yeah, I was just so, so, so hot. Um, like I am now, can you see my top lip sweating? Like literally. So can you see up there? I'm hoping you can see. There's more of Rhodes Old Town. There's a knight in shining armor. This is the restaurant we ate in the other night and it was so beautiful. I don't know if you can see up there, there's like little flowers. It's a rooftop and then the view, you won't be able to see from here, but there was this clock. I'm gonna insert some photos of how it looked because I took some and it looked so lovely. And the staff are really nice as well. The food was not the best since we've been here, but it was nice enough. It's actually a little bit breezy tonight, which is really, really nice because it's cooling it down slightly. But here's another road of restaurants and people. <laughs> There's a slush bar over there. Look. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Abby just bought this for her niece and nephew. Yeah, they're going to love it. Splat. I bought the pink one and the oh. and the tomato. <laughs> Look at the rat. The rat's horrible. I'm yeah. Sorry. What does the rat do? The tomato's great. I don't like the I rat. That. Yeah. It's very it's good. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very you. much. Have a great evening. Everywhere you look around this area, it's just so interesting. Every single angle. Oh, here's Abby. <laughs> Not a good angle. <laughs> <laughs> that outfit of the day. Abby, where's your dress? My bag is from over there. <laughs> <laughs> my dress is from Never Fully Dressed. I love it. My accessories are from Olivia Sales. And the bag as well. And this is from Monica Vinader. And the love shoes it. are from ASOS. Love, love, love. Stunning queen. Pretty recording and ready to go. <laughs> okay, guys, quick outfit of the evening. My top is Massimo Duty. My necklaces, a little bit close around, are, um, where are they from? Saru jewelry. This one and this one. And then my bag is my Celine Ava. Move her arm so we can Sorry, see. Celine yeah. Ava. Yeah. My um, trousers are from Zara. And my shoes, you'll all know where they're from. They're from my mares. Sorry if my fake hands looking a little bit patchy at this point. And this is my outfit for Jane. Can we get this scooter? <laughs> <laughs> this is the restaurant we're eating in this evening. Look how pretty this is, guys. Wow. Looks so. Beautiful. How many times do I want to say like stunning, beautiful, lovely, picturesque? Pretty. Yeah, I need to think of new descriptive Charming. words. So for alcoholic beverage, I'm gonna go for this one just here, which is a green apple. How would you say that? Masitha. Yeah. I guess. I mean, yeah. It says it's got Tanqueray, which is gin. I like that. So does my mum. Shout out to Lindsay. Lindsay mm. loves the Tanqueray. Abby's gonna have. You can have the sesame and miso. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. With zacapa rum. Yep. Local <laughs> I honey, love rum. Miso, roasted sesame, and lime juice. Mm. Here's our cocktails. Yum. Cheers. Um, do you want to take photos of them? Yeah. We can still do a cheers though. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Abby has a well. It's not even. Well, it's like a food page, isn't it? Food page, yeah. like slash lifestyle. -y. Yeah, like a lifestyle food page. So, if you actually want to know where to go on this trip, you should follow Abby on Instagram. Abby, what's your um? Abby in the city. Abby in, the Abby city. in roads. It, originally, Piggy in the city. I yeah, like a lot of people pig, would know you from in that. the city, and then pig, yeah, it was. I was being recognised out and about. I'm just being called Piggy, and I was like, mm. <laughs> and I also wanted to do a few more lifestyle bits. So I was like, it's time to call it Abby in the city. Yeah, yeah. just transition's been great. <laughs> <laughs> it's still quite sad. Finally recognises Abby. <laughs> yeah. Not piggy anymore. Yeah. Although some people must still say piggy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, she obviously takes like lovely aesthetic photos and videos whenever we go to these places, and also like documents if they were good, bad, ugly, and you know what I mean. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if you want to know where we've been or where we recommend, go and see Abby's page because she'll give a lot more information than I will in this vlog because I've started the vlog the day before we're leaving. Sorry about that, guys. Start, we have these balls of, we think, feta honey. Yes. Okay, I've had my first one, I can now explain. It's like a donut filled with honey, 
feta and truffle and it's blooming unbelievable. It's so, so tasty. Our main has arrived. We actually both went for the same thing, which is rare. We usually <laughs> go for different things and share. But anyway, we've got truffle, chicken and mushroom pasta. I hope it's good. Sorry, look how sweaty and like round headed I look. How, what would you rate the food out of 10, Abby? Mm. I'm, I'm such a sweaty person, you know, it's not okay. 6.57? Yeah. The truffle little ball things to start, they were quite nice. Nice flavour, but they, are we, oh, I thought they were going to be hot inside. Yeah. Like nice and crisp on the outside, nice flavour. But we both went for the truffle pasta, where you saw it. And God, well, this lighting's actually just killing us. <laughs> God, this is a bit better. We both went for the truffle pasta, and um, yeah, it wasn't the best. It was okay. It was all right. We're gonna go find ice cream for dessert now. Yeah, cool it was down. It's a nice vibe in there though, and they had a DJ, and it was very busy. Mm. Maybe, maybe something else would have been better. Having a little look at all the gifts. Get mm -hmm. a little wooden spoon for cooking. Mm. Little honey dipper things. So ice, many lovely ice things. Ice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sure, how much, no, it's not equal. Ice for an amount of No, it's got to be like <laughs> spices or something. Do you think? Oh, right, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at all these lovely, like, wooden boards as well. If my case wasn't already 5 kg overweight, I'd have got it. Yeah, I love those as well. Really nice for just like putting <laughs> earrings Hi. and things. Hi. Abby's the clumsiest person in the world and she decides to pick everything <laughs> up. But just saying how Which nice one these mugs prefer? are. White or blue. Yeah, I love that. I personally prefer the white one with the blue because I don't like lots of colour, but yeah, I, I do much prefer that one. I feel like this one's more aesthetic as well, like they look cuter in photos and stuff. That's a bit overpowering. Yeah, I know what you mean. And look at all these mugs. This, this shop is just so lovely. It's so mm, lovely. Well, it's just really yeah, nice as well. Sweet. Is this a bath bomb? Um, yeah, it's one of those like, massage and <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Um, Do you can we take, like, <laughs> can we take the grate? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I love that one. Just to redecorate my home. I feel like back in the day I'd have like hung that off of my yeah. car. You know, like the wing yeah. room, the thingy in the car. Oh, she still could. Oh, yeah, I think it's, it's a, a bit big now. though, yeah, it's a bit big. But These ones are nice though, you could hang one of these off. Yeah. One of the evil spirits. I also love these bowls. Do you know what though, if I had a house, I do have a house, but if I like, you know, had my own home and didn't have minimal space like I have right now, I love that bowl so much and I also hadn't overpacked I would buy these they're so lovely like imagine like a salad in there like you know if you're like got a few friends over I just love this kind of stuff even though I dress super plain and like not colourful I just love this sort of mm. stuff my mum actually back in the day used to have all bowls like this up on the kitchen wall a little mirror so I can do an outfit of the day I've already done this actually I think Abby filmed it but here we go very cool and baggy and yeah comfy. I've been really buying out here yeah. today. Oh, it's all Let's wrapped not up. Get it out because you'll smash okay, it. Wait, show, I'll show a picture of my phone. Okay, no, I showed them. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, what mug? She she went in the end for the white mug. That one. Oh, here you go. She's got pictures. She went yeah for the white mug. Almost I said got it's that better one. than the blue one. More aesthetic, the white. And then the lady at the till gave us these little, <laughs> little mini like, safety pin. Yeah, it's got a little evil eye on it. How cute is that? Oh, also got a little. Um, I mean, I know you want one of these balloons. Yeah. This is our ice cream Ooh. shop. Of choice. Oh, a little bit of cotton candy there. Mm. What flavour are you going to get, Abby? Oh. I feel like I'm going to have to get mint. It's my favourite flavour. Mm -hmm. I love pistachio, but I like it when there's nuts inside. And I feel like I think that's smooth, no? Yeah, there are nuts. There's what? something in there, I think. Oh. Mine doesn't look very aesthetic, however, it is 10 out of 10. After 8 is my favourite ice cream ever. Abby's looks more aesthetic. Yeah. Strawberry, is it good? Yes, so good. So good. Yeah, this is honestly delicious. And and the girl that was doing the candy floss machine watches the channel. She was like, I recognise you. I don't know how she recognises me because I look sweaty right now, but that was lovely. And now we're down at the marina, which is where we actually caught the boat the other day to Simi. And there's some very beautiful yachts down here. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Good morning, guys. I know it doesn't look like a different day because I am actually wearing exactly the same outfit as I was last night, but today is a new day and we're actually checking out today, which is very sad. We asked for late checkout, they wouldn't accommodate. So we're checking out and we're gonna have to like sit on the sun lounges and then get showered and changed in the gym. 
is what it is. We haven't got to leave here until 6 p.m. because our flight isn't until 9. Um, so at least we've got like a full day in the sun, which will be very nice. And we'll have our last Greek salad before we exit Greece. Anyway, before we leave the room, I thought I'd give you a quick room tour as we've packed all our things into our suitcase and it's less like a tip. So let's give you a little tour around. Okay, I'm gonna start from the hallway. So this is what the hall looks like out here. We are room 8302 and in we go as you will see it is all lime wash walls and then you come straight into the bathroom where that lighting on me is not the best here i am hi guys I mean, everything's looking slightly messy because obviously we've been staying in here and um, but you get the drift it's all very nice it's quite dark in here though like the whole room is quite dark then out here you have these big wardrobes which if i'm quite honest we haven't put anything in them other than some hats then we have this dressing table area which had all of our stuff on it. You've also got a little coffee and tea making section, which we never used. There is a big bed. The bed's actually huge. Like we didn't even go near each other. Like you literally, it's massive. It must be a super king, I'd say. No matter how much Freya tried. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, I'm not a cuddly person, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's actually really comfy as well. The, um, what, what are you doing with that kettle, Abby? Oh, I thought I might have a tea, but then I'm scared because <laughs> my podcast. Are you saying about this kettle? I listen to a podcast of my therapist goes to me, which I'm sure lots of you listen to. But Joanne <laughs> McNally said that she can't have drinks out of a hotel kettle because she's heard that people boil their knickers and pants <laughs> in them to <laughs> clean them. <laughs> oh god! So we haven't. It's used quite it, a new hotel, so I feel like yeah. no one will have done that yet. Go on, go for it, honey. Yeah, but then what water am I going to use? You can just use tap water. Oh, mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Because you're not meant to drink the tap water here. But I feel like once it's boiled, it would be okay. Um, anyway, yeah, this is the bed area. And also, I've realised I've left my bottle of fake tan. I need to get this. By the way, if any of you are fake tanners out here, which I'm sure there's quite a lot of you, and you're going on holiday and you're worried about your fake tan ruining your bed sheets, which any fake tanner in the world will understand the issues that that causes then get this this is the um tan Lux express mousse but it's clear so it barely transfers like you might get the tiniest little mark but really nothing so it's perfect for when you're on holiday or you're staying in a hotel and it's also good if you're wearing light clothing and you want to put it on the day um yeah it's actually a really really good tan as well and then you go through to this little area and it is a seating area. i'm actually going to come around the other side because the window's in the back there um but yeah this is the seating area and this is the room bless you Abby, from this angle i don't know if it's shown on camera but it really is a said already it's kind of dark so it doesn't look so great here are our suitcases all ready to go here I and mean, then you've got a big tv but we never actually i mean i sat on the sofa a few times but you never actually used it but the way this room is designed is i think it's meant to sleep three people so this is actually like a pull out bed kind of thing um and then if i pan around i've already showed you this yesterday but then this is outside once again there's people in their bikinis so i don't really want to film okay abby wants to just tell <laughs> um, you a book recommendation my book has fallen apart um for some reason it's brand new but anyway <laughs> this book is really good um seven husbands of yeah i got recommended it evelyn hugo yeah evelyn. or evelyn um but yeah if anyone's looking for a holiday read this is a really good one. okay guys book club over here yeah. i wish i was part of the book club i wish i did read but my dyslexia doesn't allow for those things i have tried but when i read i don't know if any of you can relate to this especially if you're also dyslexic but i read very slowly i also jump lines without realizing it i obviously get all of the words mixed up as well but i can read like i can read but then it doesn't go in so like i could read like a whole page but i haven't digested any of it does that make any sense? Like, I just, I don't, yeah, it's just, it just doesn't happen. But I really wish I did read because I feel like it's such a good way to switch off from social media and just the endless scrolling that we all do. Instead of that, I put on a true crime podcast, don't I? And um, Abby came in and was like, what are you listening to? American, American crime. Yeah, some American podcast. crime thing where this guy has been um, just found after 10 years. Um, it's basically a serial killer and they've just found him via DNA after 10 years, which is just insane. So I was like hooked on that story. Um, and I know loads of you love a little true crime podcast. It was actually a YouTube video, but you know what I mean? Anyway, we need to check out this room because it's actually gone checkout time. And the reason I'm dressed like this is I'm hoping to shoot this out quick because I didn't actually shoot it last night. Hello guys, um, we're actually at the pool bar. Can you see? I hope no one's in the background. Oh yeah, I think we're ready, yeah. So can we actually get two Caesars? salads but one with no bacon and can we also get um, a portion of the triple cooked chips please 
And can we also get a bottle of still water? Water? Yes, that's it. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm sorry, we just ordered. But yeah, we're at the pool bar, which we haven't been to the whole time since we've been here. I've already mentioned all of the rooms here have little private pools. As you can't see how bad the lighting is here. I mean, we're just dealing with it. Abby is also here. She's just I've over got here. no makeup on. Okay. Yeah, so some of the guests, they have private rooms, like private pools, where it's like shared areas. And some people don't. So there's like this big main pool, which I can't film because everyone's basically naked at the pool. <laughs> um, but it's really lovely and we're eating here for the first time. So I'll let you know how it is. Name a better drink than orange Fanta on holiday. Some of you might say lemon. It's orange all the way for me. Our food arrived. It's a big plate of lettuce, guys. Looks quite nice though, refreshing vibes. And some chips and Abby's gonna do a little pour, aesthetic pour of her orange Fanta. She's getting the content in over here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, it sounds like there's a helicopter but I actually think it's the air conditioning machine. I'm actually outside the gym which I bought gym gear on this holiday and this is the first time I've been in there and it's actually to get showered to get on the plane. Didn't go to plan but anyway, we've just got ourselves all ready for the airport, sad times. But as we're leaving, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of kind of the lobby area and the entrance of the hotel. Because I didn't show you that yesterday. So here is the outside of the hotel, very modern as you can see. And once again there is the name of the hotel over there. And as we walk in, there's a little golf cart, oh, there's a guy with champagne. Is it for me? As we walk into the lobby, there's some plants on the outside here. And then the lobby is always so well air conditioned and it's so cool in here as well. It's very zen vibes. It's actually huge in here and it wraps all the way down. And I'm gonna show you, you can walk out these doors here. Let me just speed this bit up. Oh, hang on a second. There's a little sofa area over here. With some beautiful chairs as you can see and then through these doors is this spectacular view you wouldn't get over the heat here guys by the way it's so hot but it's nice and windy today so it's a little bit cooler i don't know if you'll be able to see on the camera but there's people jet skiing out there as well and then down there this little roof bit here down here is where we have breakfast over there is where we went for lunch today so the pool kind of bar area and our room was over here this is the main pool down there. Then you've got these sofa areas here, which are really nice to chill on and have a drink in the evening and this time of day when it's kind of gone a little bit cooler and in the shade. And then over here, there's a bar as well. It's all very nice, isn't it? Oh, there's a guy <laughs> cleaning the pool. But here's another angle of the lobby area. And then obviously you can see the desk over there as well. It's very calming, tranquil. Um, yeah. Very lovely vibes to be fair. Hello everyone and welcome back to London. I hope you enjoyed that vlog as much as Abby and I enjoyed our trip to Rhodes. Honestly, we had the best time. It was so fun. It was just the right balance of chilled but work and I just absolutely fell in love with Greece all over again. I feel like all of the islands I go to, I think it's my favorite one and then I go to another one and I'm like, oh, maybe this is my favorite one. But honestly, Rhodes, in my opinion, topped them all. Anyway, as always guys, I hope so much you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next one. As always, take care, look after yourselves and I'll hopefully see you there. Bye bye.